Hello, Sagittarius. Elsie here to do a reading for you. It is for the week ahead, my fire family. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I've got a couple of Oracle decks that we're going to use today. Uh, we're going to use the uh, Psychic Tarot and Wisdom of the Oracle. We're going to throw some Oracles first, throw some Tarot on top of it. We'll clarify that Tarot and find out what's coming up for you in the week ahead. So if you've been here before, Sagittarius, you do know that in the week ahead is uh, how I always read, right? It's always for the future. So no matter if you find this reading today, tomorrow, or next year, it's always going to be for the week ahead and um, it's always going to be a prediction so if you are brand new and you're just rolling up in here welcome welcome i hope you'll hit that subscription button in the bottom right hand corner of this screen please hit the bell button you'll know when i'm uploading for your sign things will get much better back into a schedule in october as uh, we're just finishing up the beautiful weather here in the central canada let's find out what's going on here tell me about um sagittarius what's coming up in the week ahead sag We've got Mental Conflict. Hey, I just did a reading for Aries and it came up the same card. Uh, the same card came up um, the very first position. So there's a hard decision here that's coming up, it feels like. Tell me one, give me one more card, please, for Sagittarius. We've got card 19 and that is the, um, the, the sun is what it is. Yeah. I feel like you're going to need it to make this decision. The sun is here, which tells me you are making good decisions. When the light is here, it spreads everywhere. It's like nothing can hide from the sun, right? Unless we purposefully try and hide it from the sun. Nothing hides from the sun. Everything grows under the sun. And so um, we do have, you know, personal, professional, spiritual growth that's going on here. But you're in conflict about something. Bottom of the deck, we have spiritual strength. So you are growing spiritually for sure. Bottom of the dr yeah, we have prosperity begins. I feel like um, you are going to be very prosperous in the future, but it is going to take getting out of this energy here. Tell me more about Sag. We've got a leg up. I feel like the sun is here to give you some help. A leg up. We've got card number 34. 34 is a seven. For me as a reader, sevens are always about heaven or divine intervention feels like you need a hand making a decision got a leg up here you know sometimes even the leader needs help right <laughs> i'm just looking like polar bears are 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 known for uh, they live um, at the very northern part of my province and um, they are known for uh, never losing a scent always picking up the scent it doesn't if you if you visit that area where polar bears are and they catch your scent and you come back two years later they'll find you again they never lose a scent ever um polar bears are also uh you know bears as a rule are also like leaders uh in the winter seasons they do uh you know when they when they do walk around when they're not in hibernation when they do walk around they break trail for all the smaller animals uh we do have chaos and conflict at the bottom of the deck Chaos and conflict. We've got card number 33. I feel like all this time, Sag, that maybe you've been trying to fit yourself into a mold that doesn't belong to you. It feels like you've been trying to fit in. Look, I'm a Sag rising and I know I'm a little bit of a weirdo. I like being a weirdo. I, I no longer am worried about being a weirdo. But it feels like somebody here has been trying to be something else other than what they are for a long while. But I think that your true self is about to shine through because we do have do have a zebra here that's breaking through, breaking through some sort of a costume or a shell. Or I think you're about to find out how authentic you are. One more card. We have the observer. Got card number 49. Uh, it is a 13, and 1 and 3 is 4. I feel like you're a watcher. You're somebody who watches to learn. You know, some people need to actually be in there doing it to learn, and I think that you're the watcher. You're watching to learn. And I think you can see everything you need to see because the light is here. It really feels like you're really sort of narrowing in, like, you know, really, yeah, it's like macro. Like, you're really narrowing in on something here. Looks like the moon. Look, we do have a we do have a um, a full moon coming up on the seventeenth. It is a partial lunar eclipse in Pisces, and it feels like there is something here that you're observing. You might be watching the moon at this time. We do have blessed. It's card number twenty-two. Look at that. First we had thirty-three. Now we have twenty-two. What 
We have nine. 49, we have a 9. 19, we have a 9. We have three nines. You're at the end of a cycle here. There is something that's about to happen, but it's it's going to really depend on whether or not you can get out of this energy of the mental conflict or not. Let's find out what's going on here. Tell me about Sag Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sag, if you are interested in being part of the membership, membership area is open. And also, if you want a discount uh, for a private read, up to $20 off. Uh, please look in the pinned comment. You'll find everything you need there for both of those things. Tell me about the mental conflict here for Sag. What's the mental conflict all about? We've got the Nine of Wands. Again, another nine, right? More nines. Ends of things. You're at the end of something. It feels like you're exhausted with thinking. You're exhausted with being stuck in one place where you cannot make a decision. Tell me about a leg up. Sad, you might be someone who's really engaged in helping your kids. Like, I mean, your adult kids who's who've left home already. We've got the Justice card. Libra energy. I feel like it does feel like either you're helping someone or someone's helping you, but you need to get yourself in balance. And I feel like the only way to get yourself in balance is by being truthful and honest with yourself. It's time to make right on something. And I think that you want help from somebody else to do that. Or maybe you're going to ask somebody to help you make a decision. Or um, maybe you're going to get a tarot reading on it. Maybe you're going to go to a psychic, but it feels like you need a leg up from someone who knows more than you, someone who you see might have more information than you. Tell me about the sun, please. I really think you have all you need right here with this, this sun blazing in your face. We've got the, the page of wands here. It is about a new path here. It feels like you have been very specifically observing. You can see this person is looking directly at their wand and there are little buds that are coming off the wand. And so I feel that you see something that is growing and you're wondering if you should grab the wand and head out on a path and, you know, help help the path grow. Help the wand grow. Whatever's growing on the wand. Something here is growing and all it needs is sunlight, I feel, to keep going. Um, the page of wands is a messenger. So it does feel like there might be some sort of light-hearted message that comes your way, possibly. Maybe fun and flirting, possibly. But it could be from a child as well. Take it as it resonates for you. We do have a couple of depictions of children. We have the Page of Wands, and then we have the little cub that's trying to get up on its, its parents' back here. We do have the Eight of Swords. So whatever it is that you're watching, I feel is confusing you. You feel like there's something sort of coming at you here, Sag, and you don't really have a say. And I think that you're right. I feel like that there is something that's coming up here. Look, uh, uh, when the eclipses come about, it's for a reason. It's because things are going to be eclipsed from our lives. And we say, just think about taking a pair of scissors, clip, right? It's it's an eclipse. It's like things you might you might all of a sudden have an argument with somebody and they might shut the door in your friendship or you, your relationship might fall apart or, you know, you might fight with the kids. Like, it, it's a... Things are, are about to change and it sets the tone for the next six months um, with, this, with this eclipse here. Tell me about the Nine of Wands and the mental conflict, please. Feels like you have some fear, but you're too exhausted to do anything about it. You're trying to get out of this cycle, drop some, oh look, nine and one is, is 10. I feel like when the when the light shows up, when you see things for all they are, when you have your breakthrough, that's when you're gonna be able to drop these burdens here, but right now you're stuck in the burdens. We've got the Empress, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords are at odds, I think that's why you're stuck. It's like a hurry up and wait scenario. It does feel like um, that you are going over the details of something in the mind. And I feel like the Empress is trying to stay in balance while feeling like she knows that the cycle is coming to an end. There is a cycle here that is coming to an end. And I feel like the Empress is wanting to hold back take stock, go over the details, 
but the Knight of Swords energy is charging in saying, let's do it now. Hurry up. Let's go. Make the decision. So I feel the Empress is probably you. It is Libra and Taurus energy, but please understand that um, the uh, Empress is all of the Queens and the Queen of, the queen of Wands is, is part of the Empress energy, which is Sagittarius. So it does feel like you're sort of in a conundrum. Like I said, it's like a hurry up and wait scenario. It's like, I really want to stop and go over all the details and make sure I can stay in balance, Libra and Taurus, make sure I can stay in balance, but I feel like I have to do it now. Tell me about justice and a leg up. You're going to get justice from somebody who's going to come along to help you offer help. We've got the five of swords. We've got the six of cups. We've got the six of swords. I feel like in the week coming up ahead that you are going to have words with somebody that you've known for a really long time. And I think that the Two of Swords is telling me that you've been trying to avoid it at all costs. I feel like you know that if this can of worms gets open, Sag, that you're going to, you're just going to say what you got to say. And then it's probably going to end up in somebody leaving the situation. The Five of Swords is two people who have some sort of a fundamental difference. It feels like you're not, like, it feels like you're fighting to hold yourself back. But you know that it, you need to make it right. It needs to be said. We need to be honest. We need to be truthful. I got to stop not being authentic, right? We did see the, the zebra who is hiding under the skin of a giraffe. So I feel like you're fighting to be authentic with somebody that you've known for a really long time. The Six of Cups could be anybody. It is about... It is about uh, people who've known each other for years and years or have a, a long history together or lots of nostalgic memories. It could also be a, a, a last life connection. It definitely could be. But it does feel like there needs to be a conversation about something that we don't agree on. And I feel that you think that when you finally bring out the truth, make things right, that somebody is going to walk away. Either you are or they are. Because bringing it up, puts you in choppy waters with this person that you've known for a really long time. So I feel like there is a, the two of swords is here or the mental conflict because I feel like if you, if you do let it loose, I feel like it becomes the knight of swords. I feel like you cut everybody. Yeah. Tell me about the page of wands and the light, please. We've got the five of wands. We've got the ten of swords. And we've got the temperance. I don't know that you're going to be able to avoid it, Sag. It does feel like if you keep your mouth shut, like you always have a decision, right? There's, there, You always have agency, Sag. If you decide not to say anything because you want to keep the peace, then I feel like the Five of Wands is yours. You're going to be beating yourself inside, beating yourself up inside for a long time. You're going to feel in lack. Like you, you feel like somebody stifled you or that you shouldn't have said something. It feels like with the Ten of Swords... That you've got to release this pent-up energy here. And I feel like the temperance is here for a reason. It feels like there is a moment of alchemy. And the sun is in the distance here. But you've got to go down that path. It feels like you've got to find a way to balance things back and forth, back and forth, right? Temperance is your energy. You've got to find a way to balance it. Or you've just got to leave. But I feel like the Five of Wands tells me if you say nothing, I feel that that energy is trapped within you. And I feel like it's painful really painful so I feel like you're being patient before making a decision to cut somebody out because I feel like there is somebody here that gives you nothing but grief in your life and it's time to bring these things to justice the page of wands tells me that you're about this close from communication that you might just call this person to hash it out tell me about the eight of swords here got the two of cups the king of swords and the Page of Cups. That's what it is. You don't want to tell somebody how you feel about them. It feels like somebody here is knows that if they say I love you, or say I really have some serious feelings for you, that this King of Swords is going to be super honest. I feel like you're about to reveal the feelings the King of Swords, the King of Swords is the one who, who when they speak, they transform things, right? We've got butterflies um, over the top of the King of Swords head here. 
but it feels like somebody is going to say something about the two of cups and then it's going to be a shock to everybody somebody's going to say i love you somebody's going to admit to their feelings it might be the king of swords it could be you take it as it resonates but the page of cups tells me it's done in a moment's notice it's like it, bleh, it just falls out you didn't plan on saying it you were observing from a distance and you were stuck in your head and then all of a sudden boom you say something tell me about this we've got the two of swords you go from the two of swords to the emperor there it is it feels like you go from the two of swords to i'm taking charge of the situation whether they like it or not i'm just going to go ahead and say it so we got the emperor and the empress here and it does feel like you will be revealing your feelings whether you are the empress or the emperor maybe you're one or the other maybe you're neither take it as it resonates for you um but it does feel like there's been a block with the emperor here and i feel like you're about to take control of the situation and that's the only thing that will remove the block which is the two of swords which is where we started that's where we ended so i feel like somebody's going to blurt out something whether it's you or them, somebody's going to blurt out something about really being very much in their feelings and wanting to get into something more from here. Huh, look at that. You're going to be blessed with a loyal heart. I kind of love that. Blessed with a loyal heart. Card 35 is an 8. Card 22 is a 4. Stability for you. 8s are about the self. 4s are about stability bottom of the deck we have the page of pentacles which tells me something's about to begin or you will be meeting someone speaking with them face to face we do have the strength card i think that you feel strong that you have the protection of the universe with you but the ace of cups is here it's got to be said ten of pentacles it is big you've got big love for this person or they have big love for you yeah you really have to end this five of wands it's really got to come to an end You've got to stop holding it in. Regardless of what the outcome is, you've got to stop holding it in. If Even if they say no, you've got to stop holding it in. That stuff will make you sick, for sure. I'm going to leave that right there, Sagittarius. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. Love you guys so much. And I'll be back, because I'm always back. Love you. Bye.